This is Geometry A, Unit 6, Congruent Triangles, Lesson 3, Triangle Congruence by ASA and AAS. Okay, recall, if you will, if I make a statement like Triangle CAT is CAT is congruent to Triangle DOG. That means something very specific. Triangle CAT is congruent to triangle DOG. It means all the corresponding parts are congruent. That means six sets of facts are true. That means angle C is congruent to angle D. It means angle A is congruent to angle O. Angle T is congruent to angle G. But it also means CA is congruent to DO. It also means AT is congruent to OG. It also means CT, segment CT, is congruent to segment DG. So it means all six of those facts are true. And again, the question comes up, well, that's a lot to have to prove to prove triangles congruent. Is there a shorter way? And as we saw last time, in the last video, there is. We talked about side, side, side. If two triangles have, two, have three sets of congruent sides, then the triangles are congruent. Or side, angle, side. If two triangles have two sets of congruent sides, and the included angles between those congruent sides are congruent, then the triangles are congruent. Okay, note that is side, 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 versus side, angle, side, in that order, side, angle, side. We're going to go on here and look at a couple more today. They are angle, side, angle, ASA, and angle, angle, side. And now if you think about it, actually, if you know two angles of a triangle, do you know the third? You actually do, because remember this. Let's say I get tell you this is 48 degrees and this is 70 degrees. You can add these two together, 118, and subtract 180 from 118 from 180 and get 62 degrees, right? So if you know two angles of a triangle, my point is you know the third, right? And so if you have angle, side, angle, or angle, angle, side, really it's both two different versions of the same thing, okay? But we have side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, okay? Let me sketch a diagram for this. Angle, side, angle looks like this. If you have two triangles, and you have one congruent angle, two congruent angles, and the included side between them are congruent. That's angle, side, angle. As opposed to angle, angle, side, when you have two angles, and these angles are congruent, and the side not included between them is congruent. Angle, angle, side. Then they are congruent, okay? So angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, going around the triangle, angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. Okay, now let's use this to, to do a proof, all right? Because that's really what this is all about. Shortcuts to proving triangles are congruent. Okay, remember a couple of rules. The bow tie. If we have vertical angles, vertical angles are congruent. Vertical angles are congruent. That's the bow tie. I call it the bow tie. It looks like a bow tie. Okay. Then we have the Siamese twins. If two triangles share the same part, Siamese twins, they share a part. They can share a side. They can share an angle. You, most often they share a side. Okay. And that we call the reflexive property. Not reflective, but reflexive. It's like uh, when the doctor hits your knee with a rubber mallet to check your reflexes. Reflexive property. 
So remember those. Be on the lookout for those in any any triangle proof. Okay. So here we go. Let's let's take a scenario here. Uh, let's do this here. Um, okay. Here we go. All right, and like so. And like so. Okay, and let's label some parts. A, B, C, D, E, okay. And let's say we know this fact. We know angle A is congruent to angle C. And we know DE is congruent to BE. Okay, so we are given, given angle A is congruent to angle C, and DE is congruent to BE. Segment BE. Prove, so given and prove, prove, not proven. Prove triangle AED is congruent to what triangle? Now, this is a critical step. Naming the congruent triangles. AED. Notice the way it is. A goes with C. E goes with E. D goes with B. So AED is congruent to CEB. All right. So we've got statements and rules. I like to call them rules because they're the rules that justify the statement. Okay, one, we almost always, you're never wrong to start with the given. Angle A is congruent to angle C and DE is congruent to BE. One, how do we know that's true? It's given. It's the only assumption we can make. Okay. And then the last step of the proof, no idea how many steps are going to be in between yet, is what we're trying to prove. Triangle AED is congruent to triangle CEB. Okay, we don't know the rule or the reason for it yet, but we will. Okay, and let's do the proof now. All right, so remember I said look for Siamese twins, look for bow ties. This has a bow tie. This angle is congruent to this angle because they are vertical angles. Now, mind you, we can't say this. We can't say angle E is congruent to angle E, okay? Because that's ambiguous, and by ambiguous I mean unclear, right? It's unclear exactly what angle you're talking about. It makes it appear like we're talking about the same angle, but they are not. They are two different angles, right? So we need to use three letters to distinguish which, le which angle we're talking about. So we're going to say angle AED. Always use the middle letter as the vertex. Is congruent to angle AED CEB. CEB. So now that's angle E is congruent to angle E, but more specific so we know exactly what angles we're talking about. And what rule says they're congruent? The vertical, don't say just vertical angles, say the vertical angle theorem. State the whole rule, vertical angle theorem. Okay, now check out what we've got. We've got an angle congruent to an angle right here. We've got an angle congruent to an angle right here. And we've got a side congruent to a side right here. I've got angle, angle, side in my proof, therefore I can cite the angle, angle, side postulate. Okay, so we know now we have the last step of the proof. There we go. So there, and step three, AED, triangle AED is congruent to triangle CEB by angle, angle, side. Okay. So that's it. That's the proof. Oh, we've got to end with our punctuation, QED, which stands for quad erat demonstrandum. I said it, therefore I proved it.